this right here is a compiled list of all the games that came out in 2023 i think there are a bunch missing but that doesn't negate the scale and the amount of titles that came out this year alone this list that i put together is just a short wrap up of five games that i still need to play from this year i am what you call an old head when it comes to final fantasy which is why i was initially a little surprised that i didn't pick this up when it came out on launch however with the announcement of dlc and additional content post update patches and fixes that aren't blowing up consoles anymore i would say this is a solid pickup to continue with into 2024 as we try to clear our backlogs for the rest of 2023. I initially wasn't a big fan of the one button does a million different things type of combat style, but after watching creators play and doing a bit of a deeper dive on this game as a whole, I think it's time. It's time. This could be the Final Fantasy, right? Coming in at number four on this list is Remnant from the ashes to this game is easily one of my most anticipated games in my backlog while i have purchased it i have yet to get around to the game and with the announcement of the dlc my question is is this game solo playable yes but it's not gonna be easy with the variety of playstyles and almost never-ending runs this will definitely be one of the games I play throughout 2024. I mean, what's not to like? Souls like with guns, right? Atomic Heart came out in February of 2023. Yeah, I know, I forgot to. But the main draws for me is the world design, and it's just weird enough for me to want to check this out. At the same time, it's something about that thick, chromed out booty that reminds me of Pimp My Ride. Enough said. <laughs> Moving on. Coming in at number two is Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Look, FromSoft, I love you. I love your games. I'm still playing Elden Ring, man. Can we just chill on the back to back banger releases? Undom Wing was my ship back in the day. I just want to build things and destroy things with my mech suit enough said look i'm a sega kid and i thought jet set radio and rollerblades were the coolest things ever bomb rush cyberfunk is a spiritual successor to jet set radio this game bleeds style and you know the music is spot on the jet set radio remake was announced and i think bomb rush cyberfunk will be the perfect fix before release I also think it's worth mentioning that they got the original composer from Jet Set Radio, Hideki Naganuma, to do the music for Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Like, how did Sega allow this? How did Team Reptile get away with this? This is insane. Well, there it is. My backlog now has five extra games that I still need to play from this year. And what can we say? It's been quite a year for gaming, the highs and the lows, as we know. But thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate all the support. We are also live Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12.30 p.m. Pacific where we chat about things like this. So come by, say what's up. And you know what? I'll see you later. Peace.